Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this very exciting evening. And it is my pleasure to welcome and introduce the Ambassador of Peru to the United States, Mr. Carlos Pareja. Good evening, everybody, and each one of you. And, and, and thank you for coming to this uh, ceremony. And this afternoon, we have the honor of meeting in this historic building of the American Society, Council of the Americas, to pay tribute to our dear friend, Susan Siegel, president and CEO of this institution. We are joined in this ceremony by distinguished scholars, ambassadors, business leaders, friends, and members of the American Society. Who, now, who know firsthand about her admirable work, trajectory, building bridges, long and steady bridges, I know that, between the United States and Latin American countries. In her view, a more democratic, prosperous, stable, and secure Latin America will benefit the United States and vice versa. Susan has also been outspoken about the need to confront populism fight corruption in authoritarian regimes in the region. It should be noted that due to her tireless efforts to consolidate this vision, Susan has been recognized as one of Latin America's top business and influential women. That is true, yes sir. In the case of Peru, her compromise is reflected in the outstanding, outstanding contribution to the promotion of our country as a leader in the region. Susan has dedicated many years to promote investment opportunities for American and Peruvian companies and has succeeded in broadening trade opportunities. She has also contributed to the organization of very important events at the national and international level, allowing Peruvian authorities to sustain constructive dialogues with business and academic communities as well as diplomats and political leaders in the, of the United States. Her charisma and subtle matters, as well as her outstanding ability to convene and lead a successful team, has shown fruitful results. As an example, I can mention that since Susan became president and CEO, the Latin American Cities Conference constitutes a tremendous opportunity to bring together the public and private sectors in our country. Last year, during the 12th edition of the Lima Conference, we debated thoroughly about the need for infrastructure in a new climate reality. I had the honor to participate as a moderator in an interesting panel. And believe me, it was an extraordinary opportunity to realize how much we can achieve when we work all together. Furthermore, Susan is also well known due to her commitment to build and promote democratic institutionality, the rule of law, as well as supporting the aspiration of Peru to be part of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, which are, we are working very hard on that task. And the United States plays a key role. During my numerous exchanges with, with Susan, she has always offered creative suggestions and thoughtful ideas on how we can advance and position Peru in the international agenda and particularly in the public opinion of the United States as what it is a successful story of economic development and social inclusion. That is Peru. In this regard, Susan, for your significant altruistic effort in promoting a better understanding of Peru throughout these many years, for your unmatched contribution to consolidate the US-Peruvian relationship, and for your long professional and professional and personal friendship with our country, on behalf of the President of the Republic of Peru, Mr. Martin Vizcarra, I am highly honored to bestow upon you the decoration of Grand Officer of the Order Merit for Distinguished Services, services Merito for Servicios Distinguidos. Buenas tardes. I am deeply honored to receive this award. Beyond that, I am personally touched 
to receive the merit for the Distinguished Service Decoration from Peru. It is a profound personal honor for me. I want to thank President Vizcarra. I want to thank the Foreign Minister of Peru. I want to thank Ambassador Pareja, an old friend. And I want to thank your lovely wife, Consuelo, for organizing tonight's event. And I want to welcome Ambassador uh, Gustavo Mesa Cuadra, who has been watching this for a while, and his wonderful wife, Sonia. I want to welcome the Consul General of Peru here, Ambassador Maria Landaviere. And I also want to welcome my very dear friend, Carlos Rodriguez Pastor. Many people don't realize, but he and I started our journey in Peru, or at least my journey in Peru, many, many years ago together. I also want to welcome all of my family, friends, colleagues here this evening. Now, what the ambassador talked about is not something which one person does. It's about a team. And I have the most amazing team that is dedicated to Peru and Latin America. I want to thank Randy, who is partial Peruvian as well, because she is passionate about her country. I want to thank uh, Guillermo Zubiaga. I want to thank, who's back there? I want to thank, um, who else is in the room here? Kara, who's back there. Um, I want to thank Eric, who isn't here today, but who is in Washington and has led our effort, our team in Miami. Um, and not only do I want to thank them, but I want to thank all of the people that worked on Peru before them, because the council has been working on Peru and caring about Peru for a very, very long time. Now, what most of you don't know is I didn't start working with Peru during my time at the council. I actually started working with Peru during the debt crisis in the 1980s. I actually sat at the table um, during some of the negotiations, um, and it was quite an experience. So what's interesting is I have had the opportunity to see the deep and profound transformation of the country, political, economic, and of course, social. And I've also had the opportunity to see the enormous opportunity for the future of the country and its people. Now, part of my job is about speaking about Peru, talking about Peru, talking about the amazing opportunities. Well, that's easy. And the reason it's easy is because it's Peru. And it is the gateway to the Pacific. It is a founding member of the Pacific Alliance. Uh, it is a uh, it has an FTA with the United States. It's a member of APEC, signed TPP, which is more than I can say about my government. And hopefully, we hope, will be a member of the OECD. And it continues, as I was talking to Ambassador Mesa Cuatra this evening, to take a real regional leadership role, the Group of Lima, in the UN, and of course, at the OAS. And the country continues to outperform many countries in Latin America in terms of GDP growth and, and is a leader in social inclusion. Now, as the ambassador said, we've been working with the foreign ministry for 12 years for our Latin American cities conferences. Our conference touch on so many different points that I can't name them all. But at the end of the day, what we're really talking about is Peru and the many opportunities, the growing middle class, tourist opportunities, mining, energy, just to name a few. And we get the privilege to not only go to Peru and work with the Peruvians, but to take foreign investors to Peru. And I never forget the culinary experience, because before I go to Peru, I don't eat for a week, so that I can eat a lot when I get there. But most importantly, I feel at home in Peru, one of the few countries where I would let my daughter go live and work for a period of time. And I've also had the enormous privilege to travel around the country and see the spectacular cultural sites. And in recognition of Peru's rich cultural history, 
We've also done many exhibitions in our gallery around Peru. Most recently, Metropolis, which really highlighted Lima, um, which featured Lima as one of the six cities talking about the history. This was a world-renowned exhibition. We also did art and myth in ancient Peru, reproducing nations um, in collaboration with Museo de Arte de Lima, and many other exhibitions actually touched um, Peru in our exhibitions. So tonight for me, this award is a highlight and I will always remember the evening. I will always be touched by the evening. But the people, and I wanna note this, the people in Peru have always been so generous and kind to me, but frankly, they've also been so generous and kind to the Council of the Americas. So one more time, we will always be there. I will always be there for Peru. And I look forward next week to or in 10 days to seeing President Viscara here. Um, before I close, I want to thank my family and friends, Lizzie, Steve, um, and I want to thank again the entire team, um, and I want to thank you, Ambassador, and most of all, I want to thank Peru.